Hello. Welcome to the series on how we at Selling Restaurants should be managing our buyers to become a better buyer-centric company. First, what happens is once the release listing is released to market, we put that on third-party websites such as Biz Buy Sell, Businesses for Sale, Business Mart to try to track down uh, buyers. The buyers will go to those websites and drop an email inquiring about that business. And that email comes to a central office here at Selling Restaurants where we respond with a standard email address that each agent, if it's their listing, will receive a copy of that email response. But what we receive centrally is an email that looks like this. In this case, it's Biz by Sell, listing 4119 for a waterfront restaurant and bar. So it says, please send me additional information about this business. And Hassan, Frank Hassan, is the one that inquired and his phone number. The very first step for you as an agent is to see whether or not Frank has come to the website to uh, check out the listing yet. This is important that we try to connect with these uh, buyers and the higher percentage that we have of people who actually come to the site, the higher the chance obviously that we have of selling it. And not only that, the higher percentage that you connect with these buyers, the more likely it is that you're going to find a solid buyer that you should find a business for. For example, not too long ago, I had a buyer call me up about a sports bar that he wanted. He wanted a profitable sports bar. I knew of one in Ventura. We didn't have the listing anymore, but yet I called the seller up and did the deal, $52,500 commission. And if we're doing our job, and if you're following this process, you'll identify those buyers because this is exactly how I identified that buyer for that particular sports bar. So I find Frank Hassan. And I look at his file, and here's how you can tell whether or not he has registered. First of all, again, Home Office inserted this email address. We insert the name, we insert the phone number, we insert what location they were looking at, and the source where they came from, Biz Buy Sell. Then up here at the top, you can see where third-party inquiries are coming from. You can click that and see that he, in, he inquired about Cafe Med. He inquired about the waterfront restaurant space. This is an error. It should be biz by sell. Okay, going back. So Frank clearly has not registered. It says confirmed account, no. And also another giveaway is the password is change me. That tell you, tells you that central office put the email in there. He still has not come to the site to register. And that's really important for you to go out there and reach out and make a connection with him. So the first thing that I would do, would I would give Frank a call, hopefully have a conversation with him. If not, leave him a voice message. If you didn't get a hold of him, then text him as well and also email him back. So you come back here and you would just reply to the email and I would move Hassan up here, get rid of that and get rid of that agent, Leo friend there, no offense to you, Leo. And I would write Hassan a note. And hello, Hassan. Um, I would, are you still interested in the restaurant on the water? Please give me a call. And I would just send that email back to Hassan just like that. Then I would go back and uh, make a record of what I just did. So 4119, I would actually say, let's assume that I call them, I called Hassan and left him, and, well, let me just say one that I talked to him, Hassan, and we spoke. This is all an example, folks. Um, he asked whether or not he could place a Chinese restaurant at this location. What do you think? So what I'm doing is I'm also asking our seller uh, a question because this, what you're doing is you're going to send it to our client. And when you save the note, send it to the client, I have a contact buyer, you hit save the note and, and it goes to our client. I would also say uh, uh, Frank is 
going to visit the location tomorrow and I'll call him on Friday. Okay? Uh, so I would hit save the note. I'm not going to do it here because I don't want the client getting this note. And then you can add a task just to make sure that we call him on Friday. So call Frank about the waterfront restaurant. Right? And you would uh, change the date. Since you want to do it on Friday, you would put the 12th of September. You can make changes of time if you want. If you want to do it first thing in the morning, give him a call. And then you would change email reminder here to five minutes before that time. And then you would update the task, and it would go right into your task. And at five minutes before 9 o'clock on the 12th, you would receive an email for you to give him a call with a link that will tell you exactly what the subject was all about. So that's how you should be tracking every single buyer because you want to get that percentage of third-party conversions up as much as possible. Here, for me right now, I'm at 53%. Pretty low, but you got to be persistent because a lot of these buyers are qualified buyers, but for some reason they're not coming to the website. They may not be getting the email. So you need to make those phone calls if you want to do deals on every single one of those emails that you receive. And you got to follow through persistently. You just can't call once. You got to call two and three times on those. And when you identify and you qualify that buyer and you got a solid buyer, by all means, find him a business. And that concludes this session of how we become a buyer-centric company.